this video, you'll see how to view and manage quotas for AWS services using Service Quotas. With Service Quotas, you can monitor quotas across AWS services from one central location. Proactively manage your quotas by setting up alarms or requesting quota increases. And simplify quota requests for new accounts in AWS organizations. To get started, let's open Service Quotas by finding it on the navigation bar. Quotas, also referred to as limits, are the maximum number of resources that you can create in an Amazon Web Services or AWS account. Quotas are managed on a per-region basis, so the same service may have different quotas in different regions. You can see the quotas for a specific region by using the drop-down region menu on the navigation bar. The Service Quotas dashboard can be used to monitor up to nine AWS services. You can remove any of the services currently on the dashboard and replace them with others. Let's remove Amazon VPC and add Amazon API Gateway. You can also view quota information for AWS services by selecting a service from the list. Let's find the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud service. For each AWS service, you can see a complete list of its service quotas. You can see each quota's default value and whether it is adjustable. Let's view the Running On Demand Standard Instances service quota. Here, you can see details about this quota, including an embedded monitoring graph from Amazon CloudWatch. You can create a CloudWatch alarm from this page to notify you automatically whenever a specified quota reaches a percentage of the maximum or reaches the maximum level. Let's create an alarm that notifies us when 80% of the quota has been reached. Once you have created an alarm, you can use the CloudWatch console to configure notifications. In this case, we're going to skip that step. Let's return to the dashboard to look at quotas for another service. Let's select the Amazon Athena service. Now select the DML Query Timeout Quota. If you need to request a quota increase for a service, simply click the Request Quota Increase button and then enter the new quota value. Let's change this quota value from 30 to 37. The quota was successfully requested. You can see all your quota requests on the Quota Request History page. The request is still pending. We can click the status for more details. Here, you can review details about the request. Some quota requests, like this one, can be handled automatically. Let's refresh the page. We can see that the request has already been approved, meaning the increased quota is now in effect. Let's go back to the dashboard and try requesting a quota increase for another service. This time, we'll select the Amazon API Gateway service and then Lambda authorizers per API. Let's see what happens when we request a quota increase for this service. Open the quota request history. Refresh the page, and then click the status for the request. When we view the details, we can see that a support ticket has been opened. Unlike our first request, this one cannot be automatically approved. Let's drill down into the Support Center case number. Here are the details for the case that was opened. Once you have resolved this case with the support team, it will be closed for you. At any time, you can also resolve the case by closing it. Let's do so. You can also create quota request templates 
to specify quota values for all new accounts created within your AWS organization. Using a template saves time and effort by submitting multiple quota requests at once. Let's add a new quota request to this template. Once you have finished configuring the quota request template, you can then associate it with your organization. When you associate your template, any newly created account in your AWS organization automatically requests the increased quota values. Existing accounts are not updated. You've just seen how to view and manage quotas for AWS services using service quotas. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.